Hello everyone, it's Johnny from WP Johnny, and today I'm going to review the Cadence Starter Templates. So this is somebody, uh, something somebody asked me to do, to review the Cadence Starter themes, and this is pretty much what it looks like. And it's actually kind of fun to do because most of the time, nowadays, when I'm reviewing themes, I'm actually reviewing their framework, which is their coding and their cleanliness and support and you know, developer features and typical backend features. I, I never really get the time to actually critique their design. So here I'm critiquing their design and I have to say I'm a big fan. Um, I like the look. Some of the themes I definitely like more than others. I think they're a little more polished, but let's just click around and just so you can get an idea. So this looks like a simple, okay, it's not a one pager. There's actually different blocks. Okay, I'm clicking through. It does remind me a little bit of Generate Press, but with a little bit more hipster vibe. Um, okay, this one's definitely hipster vibe. And I would say, if it matters to you, the Cadence Starter themes, Starter Templates, are pretty much on trend. This is a, a very typical, I would say, American design look. Okay, it has this kind of like clean, minimalist, very flat. You don't see things like shadows and gradients and borders and edges and that kind of thing. Uh, just very clean, just images, images, text, buttons, that's it. It looks kind of, um, looks a little bit like an app. Okay, these are some of them and we'll just go through. I think these are possibly more interesting. And I love how, you know, it's very simple. It kind of tells you what they're most likely used for, which is really helpful for People don't know what's a good theme to choose and you know, they don't want to like go through weird names. Um, some themes out there use really weird labels and names, but this makes it clear for you, right? It's called yoga and sure enough, it's for some kind of like body work studio. You could use this for massage or acupuncture, uh, maybe even like a dental office, you know? All right, and then you have this. I really like this. This one looks really polished. It's very techy, kind of like a Bitcoin service app or a new techy product. Right, it has a, the pricing pages. So it's really cool. It has all the typical layouts that you would use and very clean and simple. Everything was thought of. This one's course. So if you're selling a membership, which is a very popular thing now during this uh, Corona lockdown times, everybody's going digital. This is a really nice clean design. Um, let me go down here. I really like this footer. So, I mean, you know, you just look at the spacing and, and just minimalist kind of vibe. Uh, I'd, I'd say it's right on trend. Now, how do you install it and what, uh, how to use it? So what we'll do is we'll go here to plugins. And also if you click here as well, it will take you to this. So there's a starter template plugin that you have to install. And let's just get to that right now. Well, not that, this one. I'm so jumpy, right? I just kind of <laughs> click the first thing I see. Okay, so I believe it's on. And let me make, just make sure I have the Cadence theme enabled. Yes, that's on. Cool. And let's go to starter templates. And these are our options. So I really like, I think these two are definitely my favorite. Maybe this one is, is the, the best one. Uh, we'll import. And so it installs a block and then it puts demo content and there you go. Um, you're ready to go. It's going to be pretty fast. I imagine less than a minute. Okay. That wasn't even in, even a minute. It was like 20 seconds, maybe cool. Here's a front end. Um, kind of makes me want to say, Hey, where's my demo content? Oh, there's my demo content. Oh, I see it's, it's now on home three. So just give me one second while I set this, uh, here, yeah, home page. I have to. Oh, oh boy, sorry, sorry guys, just hang on there for a second. Du, du, du. There you go, home. Okay, there you go, and here, and there. Now, is this a page builder? No, it is, I believe, Gutenberg blocks. It's using their cadence blocks. 
So as you already know, I hate page builders because they're slow and they lag your site and you don't need them. You really don't need them. So here you here it is. I can click on these and just edit the text and I'm sure if I go through this, I can like change the image to something else, right? Or I can use different uh, image layout designs and whatnot. Oh, okay, I do want the image. Or maybe if I want it on the left or right or whatever. Okay, and change. So it's it's as simple as that and ugh, I, I misclicked. Leave this alone. So for people who say, oh, Gutenberg is too hard, it's too hard for me to use, it's too hard for my clients to use, uh, that's not true. It's very easy to do. I think everyone could enjoy this and I love the design, I love their taste. I hope they come out with more designs. I, I really like their look. It, this, is, this is very American. This is very American hipster design. Um, you know, most themes out there you usually have two choices either they're kind of like indian designers where it looks very generic looks like everything else or it's european designers which looks clean and professional but also kind of looks like everything else as well um american designers have a little bit of a different taste like so, it's like some sort of european but also sort of i don't know i i wouldn't i wouldn't know how to explain it but this is right on trend and I'm a big fan. So I've enjoyed it and I like the I like the theme itself. I like their coding and how it's made. So if you like the design, you should get it. And even if you don't like the design, you should get it anyway and switch out the colors and text and 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 change things uh, to be the way you like. See, I can click on this, right? I can change the button colors and whatnot. I found it to be very easy to use. I mean, no excuse, you guys. Come on. There you go. Right? I wasn't too hard. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment in the video. Or uh, just we'll chat about this on the Facebook group. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.